I spy It's my little eye A baddie With bad behavior She looks so good But acts so bad Where's your daddy At Stop in a beach Stop in a hole A hole A hole Stop in a beach Stop in a hole A hole A hole Out on the streets You're out on the road You're more looser than your clothes You're out on the streets And not here with me You're making me lose sleep Stop in a beach Stop in a hole A hole Hole Stop in a beach Stop in a hole A hole I can't even like zoom into my nose because it's like it's damaged from all the blowing. Oh, I was really blowing my nose. I don't blow my nose anymore when I have flu. When I have flu, I don't blow my nose. My flu is over, by the way. I'm, I'm completely fine now. But uh, you can't see my nose. I can't get too close to my nose because the skin around the nostrils is like. I was like wiping my nose constantly, so it ended up damaging that skin. It is what it is, man. You know, I was thinking about it. I actually have it. Well, I mean, uh, myself included. I, I think everyone is to some extent. Burdened by the desire to be liked. Just because we're social <laughs> and you know you do what you can to, to fit in to to be accepted by that community and so on and so forth, right? I think everyone wants to be like I think sometimes we do the time we take it to fit in I heard someone
I'm talking about how it's better to be respected than to be liked. Being respected is far more desirable than being liked. Because you can be liked and still, you know, be treated with contempt. And be undervalued and be taken advantage of and so on and so forth. People can lie to you and still lie. I mean, people can like you and still lie to you and manipulate you and take advantage of you. So what does being liked really amount to in the end? <clears throat> I was thinking about that. I can remember in like school and school. everyone and I was in my mind I was thinking what's wrong with this there's no way I would have done that no amount of like making fun of me let me do that like never dude and just yeah you know you, you go through high school as well and you see similar behaviors people smoking just to fit in drinking just to fit in doing dumb things bro just to fit in it was sad i remember i fell victim to it as well there was a girl i liked that i um i didn't um pursue further because my friend said she was ugly so i was like oh well, i guess she's ugly then <laughs> i was and i and i liked her i really did like her and we were getting along way really, really well and during that period of my life it was rare to come up first of all i went to a boys school so you know coming across girls it was like, and yeah because of that and i was also like a nerd it's very rare to come across any girl that liked me. So I was like, you know, I found this girl who was also very pretty, by the way. She liked me and I, I, I fumbled that bag because my friend was like, no, she's not. She's not attractive. And I listened to because I wanted him to. He, he was older than me, so you're kind of like this big brother.
you know, yes, try my best to to um, <laughs> you know be amicable and, and easy to get along with and all that sort of stuff, but ultimately I don't want to kowtow or like So that's a sad existence. And it's tiring too because it's performative and you're going to get tired. Sometimes you're going to sleep right and, and, and show your real self and people will get something. And um, yeah, uh, you see it a lot with a lot of like content creators. It's, it's, it's not good. By the way, I'm not talking about the uh, worry that that only one can just perform the politics again. That's not what I mean. I'm not about. I understand in that particular circumstance the, 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 the importance of uh, com- compartmentalizing. Uh, there's a time and place for everything. Um, and I get it. It took me a while to get it, but I get it. So I'm not talking about my my, my previous previous issues with delving into like politics and stuff. And all that I'm, just, I'm just talking about in general the concept of. putting on a performance for people in order to get them to like you. You know? Whatever that... Whatever shape that takes at any given time. I'm not a fan of that at all. But, but I, I, I don't think I've ever... I mean, for the most part, I don't think I've struggled with being myself in the sense that I've had moments where I've done whack things and embarrassing things and I've compromised and and, and uh, like like that that story I told about that girl that I that I didn't uh, pursue because of the said she like there've been moments like that just in general like in high school for example like no one could get me to do stupid things at parties or like drink or smoke or anything like that because I just didn't want to I didn't want any interest in it no one can get me to express some viewpoint that I didn't agree with I've always been outspoken by the way um, so the same <laughs> the same problem I ran into in this channel where you know people are like bro like Again, she got these viewpoints, but maybe this is not the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always did. Um, I've actually in the opposite direction. I was like very like on the woke side of things, but anyway, let's not get into that. It's just important to maintain integrity, have dignity, have respect for yourself, that sort of stuff. Because it gets it gets it gets more and more crucial as you know, we become adults and integrate into society and we're forced to make decisions. very big, very dangerous world. There's so many traps waiting for us out there. 
And if you're not careful, you can find yourself engaging uh, in very compromising activities. And you can find yourself doing things that compromise your integrity. You see it a lot, man. You see it a lot. Like, for example, in, in a... In a in a struggling economy, the thing some people do for money is, um, it's incredible to behold what people are willing to do just to get some ex extra cash in their pocket. Like some things are more important than money, guys. <laughs> your honor, your ability to look yourself in the mirror, way more important than money. The things some people are willing to do just to get attention, just to get clout. It's shocking, bro. But anyway, um, overrated. I think your life just becomes so much easier when you give me this. the person's gonna think this and that it's like bro say what you mean act the way you feel and stand on business you know as long as you meant it that's what matters like mean it that's what I'm telling myself these days like actually mean it if you mean it then it's okay Obviously, be willing to deal with the consequences of that, whatever the consequences may be. But if you mean it, there's nothing to be sorry about. There's nothing to be um, apologetic about. Mm. I think that's the key to confidence. So definitely... I'm bringing all this up just because I was just thinking about it. I was thinking about the things I'm seeing people do and the way the world is shaping up to be these days. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> you could not pay me to do some of the things I see people do. You could not pay me a million, 10 million, 100 million, a billion dollars to act the way some people are acting out here. There's not enough money in the world. Do you know how nice it is to, like, know that you, you have it there, to know that, hey, I'm not perfect, but you know what? I have lines. I have boundaries. I have honor. I have dignity. It's a nice feeling. Again, I'm not perfect, but yeah. separate topic I, I started playing days gone yesterday uh forgot his username i think his name is leroy shout out to you sir he suggested it to me i started playing it and, and immediately started having fun like just off the rip i was like this is fun you know these days it's very hard for me to have fun playing the Richard, he got very bored I tried playing control got very bored playing a bunch of games got bored 
but I uh, started playing Days Gone. I was like gripped because, yeah, I'm just coming to terms with the reality that this very specific game that I'm into. There's a lot of people who can just play a lot of different games and have fun with all of them. I'm not like that. I'm the guy, like, you know, everyone else was saying, you know, Grand Theft Auto is amazing, da 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 I tried playing it, I was like, I don't get it. I was so bored. Just because I know what I want. I know what I'm into. I think, I think when I was younger, I was more... I was, I was easier to please when I was younger. So, you know... Any game in front of me, and I'll probably have some fun with it. As I've gotten older, and you know, kind of settled into myself, and I know what I'm doing. Yeah, you can't just put it. I'm into single-player, story-driven, linear narratives. You know, like like playing games linear narratives not the open world thing it can work depending on the game I'm also into the linear stories the linear gameplay where you're just following a story you're being guided and it's very simple that's, that's, that's my 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 that's The main story was very much linear and you're following directives and there's a mission and so to watch the story That was always my cup of tea. That's why I enjoyed games like Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2, like the OG Modern Warfare. You know, I heard they've got decent campaigns. You know, the OG Those campaigns are cinematic. They are. Days gone, I'm very intrigued. I'm liking the writing so far. I'm liking the dialogue, well written dialogue. I always look for that, right? I like. Real people talk. The voice acting is great. Grace, great acting. Stuff like that. It feels, it feels good. I'm, I'm, I'm interested in the main character, Deacon St. John. He seems like a complicated individual. Looks like a tape time. Got this look in his eye like he's just unhinged you know those people you know those guys that you just look in there it's like mm, there's there's something there and i don't know i don't want to be there when it comes out <laughs> he's one of those guys but i like him he seems like a very interesting character so i'm looking forward to exploring him and what's going on in his mind um So yeah, I'm going to game. Exactly. I wanna, yeah, I think I should upload some clips. I did, I did record something yesterday, so maybe I'll, I'll share that. Some some of some more gameplay. Then yesterday, I wait the day before yesterday actually, or maybe two days before that. I can't remember. KFC was having a 
buy one get one free special with this new burger they have and um it was unfortunate because i was sick so i didn't have much of an appetite well i did but not for junk food you know i was like i was like i was just i was like the thought of kfc i was just like no i just need something healthy and nutritious right now i can't have all this other stuff so even though i was tempted to get the burger i was like i'm not gonna enjoy it it's gonna be a waste of money because i'm not gonna enjoy it so i didn't get the buy one get one free special and now the special is over um i'm i'm healthy now i'm i'm 100 percent I'm like 90, no, I'm 100%, I feel, I feel 100%, I worked out this morning for the first time in what feels like a long time, and I, I wasn't like, I didn't experience any shortness of breath, I felt strong, I felt, I felt good, but yeah, now that I'm 100%, the special is over, <laughs> go figure, right, when you want these things, they're nowhere to be found, then when you don't want them, that's when they're there, what the hell, man. Anywho, 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 let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you think in the comments. You know, I have to pray. I'm not allowed to pray at the end of my videos, dear Father God. Thank you for this individual. I just right now. Thank you for making them all unique and kind. I'm going to put the most peaceful spirit and purpose. Thank you for blessing this person to the wonderful people in the life who love them, take care of them, and bring the absolute best out of them. And thank you for entertaining the ones that are there to do the same thing. Thank you for blessing this person with love and marriage and sustainability.